Oh shit, I three start time. Alright, here we go. Um, okay. So now we are gonna do. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, where is it? Two. Alright, so two, your equation is. Fuck, what is your equation? Um, oh yeah, it was like y equals 1 plus e to the x. Right, that's what it was. Alright, so again, if you draw a diagram, this marker is sucking on me today. <coughs> hey guys, if you want to be nice, buy me some markers actually, that would be awesome. Um, there we go. Power of a new marker. Okay. So you're, it's e to the x, but just one higher. So it's going to be like this, e to the x, all right? Cool. So now you're looking for the area from 1 to, or uh, 0 to 1. So let's say 1 is right here. So you go up here, right? And so this is 0, 0, 1, 0. Up here is, actually you would have to talk here. This is 0, 2. They give you that. So now this point would be, if you plug in 1 into your equation, it's e to the x, e to the 1, which is e, plus 1, which is going to be 3.7. 7, 7 2, uh, 6. All right? And uh, 1, comma, two is the point. Okay? So you are supposed to find lower and higher when you have five of these guys. So again, let's separate into five. One, two, three, four, five. All right? So, what you do is look at the length. Again, the length is going to be 0.2, and you can just factor it out because it's going to be for every single one of them. It's going to be 0 0.2 times the height, 0 0.2 times the height, 0 0.2 times the height. So factor out 0 0.2, get it on this side, and do the parentheses. Actually, I remember from last time I ran out of the room to my right, so I'm going to be smart this time. And by over here, point two times. All right, chill. Okay, so for the lower, this is what it looks like. Again, left side intersects with your function. So if you do um, zero because it intersects with your function, so you get e to the zero, which is one plus one is two. Plus this is uh, this right here, this is going to be 0.2, so e to the 0.2 plus 1 is, ah, probably didn't do it this way, okay, oh, well, f of, or let's just say f of 0.2 plus f of 0.4 plus f of 0.6 plus f of 0.8, right, so you plug all these guys in, remember, you don't plug in 1, because it doesn't intersect up here, you remember you take the rightest guy, you don't include it. And for maximum, you don't include the farthest left guy. Alright, so you get this all together, you punch this in, and you get 2.552. Okay? So now for your higher, or your, yeah. Here, I read carefully my lines on my graph, so I don't want to draw it again. And then you. Okay? This guy. So now, again, you take the left guy away, and instead you add the right guy. So f of 1. Alright? So if you do this, you get 2.897. Cool. Now, for b, again, I did not look at it on the CD. I just copied the back. Um, and what happens is, Again, as I told you, if you didn't watch the other video, um, if you now put, um, if you now separate this into like 10 guys right here, the triangles up here that are formed, right, because it's going to get more approximate, like so. Shoot, I should erase this first. Alright, these guys 
those little triangles that are a little bit beyond the functions, therefore extra area, they're going to get smaller and smaller. So if I separate them to 20, for instance, that area is going to get smaller again. Now imagine I separate them to 100, separate them to 1,000, separate them into infinity. Once you do that, there's no more area because it's infinite many rectangles. It's hard to grasp, I know. But um, once you do that, you get the actual area. So as the boxes n approaches infinity, um, the area approaches e because that's just what the area is. All right. So, yeah. Again, you can do this on your calculator. I'll show you this too. We'll read time. Five and a half minutes. Good. Okay. So y equals one plus second e to the x. Graph. All right. So you see it right here. This is your function. All right. Second, calculate integral f of x dx. Lower limit zero. Upper limit one because it's going from one uh, zero to one. Two point seven one eight two, which is e. All right. Cool. Now that's that. And I'll do five as well because I have time on this video. Thank God. Now four five. Pretty much the same. I am going to do this without a calculator to show you that you can do it without a calculator. Okay? So y equals to the cube root of x squared plus 2. Now, this function looks scary. And you're like, what the hell would that look like? I can't draw triangles. I, uh, I can't draw rectangles. I, don't, I can't do the area. Yes, you can because forget what the function looks like. All you need to know is, let's say you have any function, and that's not what it looks like. And, oh, fuck, that looks ugly. Let me do it again. Actually, let me make this simpler. Imagine this is what it looks like, all your other problems, okay? All you have to find is you're looking from 0 to 5. So imagine this is 5 right here. All you have to find is your little guy. So you want to do, again, um, boxes. So let's, I'm going to do 5 boxes in this example. 5, I think, is accurate enough. All right? So I'm going to do 5 boxes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So the boxes divided by 5 makes all these equal to 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now, if you plug in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 0 into this, you will get the height, the y value. It doesn't even matter what your function looks like because you will get your y value. And that's all that matters. So plug in 0 to here. x squared is 0 plus 2. So you take the cube root of 2. Uh, yeah, I don't know that off the top of my head, of course, so you might need a calculator for that, but I'll write cube root of 2, all right? All right, that's 0. Shit. Cube root of 2. Now, plug in 1, you get 1 plus 2 is 3, you get the cube root of 3. 2 squared is 4 plus 2 is 6, cube root of 6. 3 is, is cube root of 11, 4 is 18, cube root of 18, did I do that right? Yeah. And then finally 5 is the cube root of 27, which is actually 3. Yay, one normal number. Now, honestly, if you don't want to use your calculator at all, these numbers are accepted values. Why? Because they are the simplest form they can be. Actually, cube root of 18 you could simplify because it's um, 2 times 2 is 2, 8. Actually, I don't know. Uh, 18, 2, 9. No, you can't even simplify that. So, never mind. That is, uh, those are all the simplest forms that they can be. 
So now, again, you just find your boxes, lower and uh, higher limit. Okay, so again, this is lower. Okay, so you see all of these guys are one because they all are increments of one because I chose it to be, right? You want to kind of get nice numbers. So you do, um, you put this outside. Why did I write here again? I'm going to run out of room. Um, okay, so one times the left, cube root of two plus cube root of three plus cube root of six plus cube root of 11 plus cube root of 18. And that is it. We don't include this guy because it doesn't cross the axis and we only have five boxes and we have five values. If you do this, you could leave it like this, honestly, but I guess you couldn't because you have a calculator. Don't leave it like that. Plug in your calculator, you get 9.362. All right. Now do the same thing for higher. Again, you've got to go over here. Okay, so now uh, again you take the first value away and include the right value this time because you're taking the upper because remember this process here on the right side, not on the left side. So if you do this, you get, wait, why does it say it should be 12? Um, Okay, the, the first one, the, low, uh, the lower might have been 10.3, I don't know. Anyway, this is supposed to be 13.326, alright? So, with that, that is your upper limit, and that's your answer. Now, this is with 5, you can do this more than 5, but that's just more work. Again, if you want to get the actual answer, here's what you do, use your calculator. I'll do it one more time. You do clear. Okay, so you do... Can you see this? Kind of. Uh, x squared plus 2. Uh, to the power 1 divided by 3. That's how I input my shit. Okay. Graph. And that's actually what it looks like. It kind of looks like an absolute value kind of thing. Kind of. So again, second calculate. Integral f of x dx. How are we doing on time? 12, 12 minutes. Okay, good. Uh, lower limit zero, upper limit five, and it's ten point two. All right, so it's that. I'll upload these now. All right, peace.